Alrighty, guys, welcome back to the final round of the Chicago Regional uh, Swiss event. I'm here this time with fellow commentator Derek Petrowski. Yep. Is that how I say it? Oh, Correct. Baby, first time. How are we doing today, man? I'm doing all right. All right. How was your tournament? Well, I, uh, I'm not going to lie. I had fun the entire time, but I feel like I just played something that I truly wasn't ready to... What did you lose to f in first round, man? Uh, Bojack. Let, let us know. <laughs> Bojack, Bojack represents. <laughs> and I was playing Hot Shock, and I was like, well, <laughs> this is not meta. Right, that's funny. All right, let's get into the game here. Absolutely. The very started. We're going to take a look. Mm -hmm. can pick her. So I really wanted to get the Piccolo Surge later on. He was the only one left at top tables. Unfortunately, he got... Uh, the, other, the other one was knocked out. Gotcha. Yeah, top tables, a good amount of... Maybe like three hatchback players. Um, baby, there's one left still. Uh, I will say this. The baby matchups that I did as hatchback were my easiest matches. Free, yeah. They were basically free. Well, yeah. Uh, yes and no. I feel like there's a good way with baby. There's, there, you are capable with baby of just destroying hatchback if you just get the right the right sequence, the right call, like just the right awakening turn and everything like that. Everything just goes your way. Oh. And then also if you play the Banisher Fu. Correct. It's just, it's that, just insane. That is what got me a couple games. And actually, one thing that people that are playing Baby don't really side in is the Baby from the um, Magnificent Collection. That one will negate the leader auto for the duration mm -hmm. of the turn. Yep. It's only a four cost. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It is so good. It's so, so good. Yeah. Alrighty, so it's going to be a little bit slower with uh, this Hatchack matchup here. Mm -hmm. He blocked with his two-drop blocker. Correct. And um, we are just going to have a slow game. Again, <laughs> I wanted to have the Piccolo Surge leader on because uh, he's the only leader, that the new leader, rather, that we haven't had, except mm -hmm. for, like, Kefla, but Kefla is not really represented in this event. Yeah, I I was uh, very interested in that one, but it just – something didn't feel right about it. Out of all the – all the uh, uh, sorry, all the Surge leaders, it's definitely the worst one. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we just haven't figured it out yet, but – Well, with new cards coming in, it'll probably get better over time, but – uh, just Yellow Broly is just a better leader at this point. 100%. Mm -hmm. Although, no Yellow Broly, strangely enough, anywhere to be seen. That is a deck that I was going to play, but just something didn't feel right. I'm like, mm. I think the uh, what replaced it was actually the Surge Coup. The Surge Coup, um, people yes. are playing the monkeys with Surge Coup, playing all the stuff you would play in regular Broly. Mm -hmm. um, because I find, that I, I find that the Broly variant is actually a little bit better, but being able to play red and access the red is pretty big. And yeah, yeah, and that it's phenomenal. Yeah. Um, here's a did not. Here's a. Yeah. Uh, oh, they played the. What's it called? The Vegeta the Cruel. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna have to get rid of a card here. Yep. But then he was able to play the Gohan off of that effect. Mm -hmm. So he's got free blocker on the board. He does. He's got two, which he could tap two to bring the Light Sheet back. Um, I don't. I don't think that's the play. No, but. Yeah, you just play that. Uh, you Why play not? another blocker. Yeah. That draws you a card. Exactly. I don't think he needs the mill right now, right? Um, I'm not sure what he does in this matchup. This is, again, the first time I'm even seeing the Piccolo deck play. Do you have any kind of information about it? How does well, it play? Well, a lot of people are playing the Piccolo kind of like hand destruction, where you will do one of two things. You're going to try to ramp up to five and play Gogeta seven, and then you activate the surge effect if you're down that low, which you can do that if you're you know, taking your own life or anything like that, and you crit them for another two, and you play the special beam cannon to get basically all the cards out of wow. their hand. Yeah. But I don't know how he's playing this one. Oh, uh, well, he's got the drop box Piccolo there, so mm -hmm. he's definitely going to do a little bit of control. That's going to be very, very clutch in this matchup, I think, if he manages to get one on board. Yeah. And if he gets two on board, I think that's going to be game. Be that honest. is, well... well he, he plays Gogeta. Yep, that's what he's trying to do. All right. He might not play the special beam cannon. It was something that we were all testing with. Like, mm. it's a good card, but... It's just not what the deck's trying to do. It's just, I think it's too slow for the format. Mm -hmm. It's just one, like, minus one in, in hand is not as big as it used to be. He's just he just double objection. All right. Yep. Neat. And here's where we are going to probably next turn. Gogeta. Gogeta. Straight, straight tap seven. Yep. Uh, very, um, very interesting. Um, do you think he's also playing the Android 16, or do you think he opted for the mm. objection over the Android 16? I think the objection over the Android 16, just Why? because, well, you can't play Gogeta 7 with it. Oh, that's fair. That's true. That's yep. true. Oh, yeah. Um, but oh, even if Ben here goes down to three cards in hand, he's got all the blocker presence on the board. Mm -hmm. He can, it. well, he charged the four-star ball, which 
sometimes you have to. Yeah. But if you discard it, you can just grab it right back, so you yeah. get more card I'm presence. I'm sure he plays more than one. I remember in the yeah. first matchup, he was playing. Uh, we were playing. Uh, we had a Demigra player on stream, mm -hmm. or was it no? We actually, it was Peter. We had Peter uh, Katani, Katani on stream, okay. and uh, he was playing this deck, and he had the Kid Kuz on, on board. He had maybe like uh, he had used the Kid Kuz effect about five times before they got killed off. So that's yeah. a hard plus five. Yeah. Well, I, I was playing Hot Jack, and you play the um, the Ghost Warrior. So what you do is you have a Kid Koo on the board. You bring out the Ghost Warrior. Mm -hmm. You swing with the uh, Turles, then just discard the, th the ball. Uh, the, ball the ball back. Yep. 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 Oh, yep. it's yep. just such it's good so strategy. Good. It's so good. Um, but I kind of wish there was a way, call me crazy, but to negate your own leader's skill so you can just go all in. Oh, well, that would be very, <laughs> that very would unbalanced. Be, <laughs> that would be broke. <laughs> You're asking for horrible things. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were all play testing this. Actually, Ben, who's on stream right now, um, I kind of got the inspiration for because he was playing some very interesting tech um, for the mirror, um, where he would play the uh, Overrealm Bardock, where you draw two, discard one, and then Z to evolve from the Bardock from Draft Box three to basically warp my field. Jesus. Yeah, and you have a triple K, thirty uh, K triple attacker yeah. on the board. That's that's pretty insane. Mm -hmm. That's free. That's really free. I know a lot of people used to do that with the Bardock, the the four drop double striker one. Mm -hmm. That's like a judge promo. You remember? He's a judge promo. Judge promo. He's a he's a judge. He's like from Judge Four. Oh, okay. So yes. Like there's a straight up overwhelm for yes. double strike. People did that and then overwhelmed into it. But uh, with that other Bardock, it's actually probably a lot better. Yeah. Yes, because you're getting more cards yep. in your hand, and and then what you can do if you have another one, you swing. Then you just, if they have board presence again, you just Xenovolve over yep. it again. Xenovolve over it. Well. Uh, and what is that? Oh, the, oh, oh. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Good game? No. Oh, my goodness. That's game. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> so, yeah, that's. <laughs> that might be game. That's probably game. He's about to hit him for th four damage. But Hachiak awakened. He did awaken. So, he's been getting cards to his hand. His hand is probably about the size of a Bible right now. Yeah. As the super combos, um, are they live? Yeah, he doesn't play he the sparking ones, does he? He does. Uh, we have to see. I guess it's all. Yeah, I'm not various. sure. I play the sparking one just because it's like, well, it's if better. I'm going to overwhelm, I'm going to do it at my end, not mm -hmm. during combo. Exactly. That's kind of a disaster. Like, <laughs> yeah. The way he scooped his cards up too, big. Ooh. Because this is very stally, you can get to eight as the. Oh man, he got to eight on turn on turn five oh. or on turn four. That was turn four. He has that <laughs> eight energy. I felt like it was turn three. Yeah. Well, he objection twice that turn. I believe he objection or mm -hmm. did something before. I don't know. Yeah. You don't even need like that's the thing. You don't even need the Gogeta. So playing the androids are act is actually an option. Like and it it's just so free. But like mm -hmm. having the access to the Gogeta, I think is is quite insane. Like that card, because now if he's he's gonna go Gogeta him next turn, mm -hmm. and he's gonna go from a million cards in hand to w three cards in hand. I think that's just the cherry on top. Yeah. He doesn't care that you killed the android man. He's no. At this point, no. The uh, the slug is, it is your removal card. It will yeah. pop anything, but ooh, it's just rough. I when think it he comes just killed up. it. He killed it by comboing. He didn't kill. He didn't use a slug. Uh, no. Because he's at eight energy, so he the slug can't kill it. It equal to or greater than. Oh, equal to. You're right. Yep. You're right. So right. It, it was able to get that. Okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. So this is rough. Yeah. Like it, it, you really hate to see it. You hate to see it. It looks like he played um, Dark Planet, well, which... Chat's blowing up, right? Yeah, GG. 21 eh. for game. You're not wrong. Yeah, I'm, I have a bias. I'm going to leave my f my teammate Ben here. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, come on, Ben. I, I've seen crazier things he's been able We're, to pull off. We all want the underdog to win. Exactly. Um, but I think the play that uh, Mr. Williams should do is just hard cast it. Just but, for seven. Oh, Why actually, no, I wouldn't. He doesn't have 10 in his drop. You're right. We are very unobservant, but now we caught up, so we're good. Yeah. So yeah, it's fine. Yeah. He's, he's he's just cruising either way. Like he's not really stressed. Mm -mm. I feel like he just I could I would just dump my hand for damage for this damage here because he's so behind already. It just doesn't even matter. So he's gonna pay one. I think he's comboing right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's comboing a might arrival. Uh, I did see that he had the um. <coughs> Goku Gohan arrival there's blue green. Five. I I don't think playing that card now would be the play. Oh, oh my god. Yep, there's yeah. that. He's like leagues above us here. <laughs> He's living in twenty twenty three and we're still in twenty twenty. Yeah. I didn't see that in his hand. Yep. That's the play to do. Yep. I think he's dead. 
short of him having like a power burst. He, if he has a power burst in hand, he's good. But yeah. I mean, he does. He does have power burst in hand actually. Yeah. So he could he could negate all three of his attacks and he'd be he'll be fine. Yeah. But still, he's about to go down to three life or two life at the least. That's rough. Yeah. Um, Trayvon is definitely not taking his foot off the gas. <laughs> he's no. He is. He's in the overdrive. He is. He is a nine-speed transmission right now, going down the highway. <laughs> so looks like he's trying to do something. He's still in combo step. Yeah. So, and this damage—if he combos high enough, it, it might hit. Granted, like the, the game is not over yet. I think. I think even if he didn't have all those negates in hand, he would have still maybe been able to. Oh, he's surging now. He's surging. He's adding. Ramp. Oh, I didn't realize I. Th it ramps. It, yes. No, no, I didn't realize it was from the underside of yeah. the meta ramps. Oh, okay. I haven't, I haven't read the new leaders. Yeah, yeah, I have no, them all, but no worries. but I know about the discard effect, which that's the more devastating one. And it looks like he's swinging with the secret rare. He is blocking with the Gohan. So power burst sparking. He's live with that. He's able to grab the Kid Ku back. Which it is combo fodder in his hand right now. Oh no, he didn't. He grabbed the blocker back. So yeah, two so power bursts okay. on his awakened side. It's once per turn. If your life is uh, at three or less, mm -hmm. you choose one card under this card and place it in your owner's drop area. Then okay. you choose one. Your opponent choose co chooses two cards in their hand and sends them to their warp. Choose yep. one blue green in your drop area and negate its energy exhaust skill and place an energy. So basically, he he just oh, like. Went over the step of putting in his drop air and, putting and just back putting. In. Yeah, he just straight up put in his energy, which makes sense. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. at this point, um, but Ben was able to survive that blocking and then activating two yeah. sparking power bursts, but which he added. Yeah, I think the two one drop blockers. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's one. There's one draw. Oh, this is rough. I don't know if he can come back from this. Yeah, and I only say this because he's still at like five life. Well, now the Vegeta does not have his effect. So the oh, one it just doesn't matter, yeah. Yeah, the one thing that's scary is Ben goes down to one because of the uh, Android Twenty One that's in his energy. You can just play it, pop the energy game there. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's still uh, Trayvon's turn, or no, it's not. Ooh, that's the oh. new one. That one acts like a. Uh, yeah, it just kills. Yeah, it just kills. You can tap the other energy for another blocker. Yep. It's the draw. Anything on summon. Oh my oh. god. He like he's not laying his foot up off the gas. This is gonna be a quick round here. Yeah. Something has to change next time around or else Ben is in a lot of trouble. Mm hmm I think I think you just agree. I think like, you feel like you just lose this matchup if you run into it. Mm -hmm. Playing Hatchiak, you have to just say if I run into that A drop, I'm just dead. There's nothing because there's nothing you can do. Because black has no answers to it, period. No. If <laughs> call me crazy, but if black had mixed colors, that would be just bonkers in this game, which it'll never happen. Probably never will. No. Um, but looks like he's swing with the secret rare right now. It does not have any effects. Just a, I believe, 40k, 40K. beat stick. 50k now. Oh, boy. Draw two, please. Oh, he's at three life. Okay, so he's not it's not that bad. Like, Trayvon's at three life. His hand isn't the, as huge as you think it should be. Oh, he messed up. He cannot attack anymore with his battle cards. Yeah, he misplayed there. Yeah. Okay, so... Short of him having like double strike Champa in hand, Ben still has one more turn to try to kill him. Mm -hmm. But I don't think Hatchiak can pull off that much damage. And he's so he wow. summons that out and burns a life. Wow! A life. So that's all he needs. Yeah. Um, so now it's just scoop face. Yep. yep. Scoop. Scoop, scoop. Scoop it up. Ah. Insane man. Wow. He he literally like objection turboed into turn uh, into eight energy and just just nuked the board instantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was rough. Uh, what do you think? Uh, do you think there's anything Ben can do? Well, um, I would, if he has it on the side, I would definitely put Dende in there. Yep. The, you know. Black Mass Saiyan? Black Mass Saiyan? Eh, he doesn't really special anything out. He counterplays a lot of stuff in. No, I didn't see No, sorry. It. The Black I, That was very oh. vague. I'm sorry. The Black Mass Saiyan that nukes a mana. Yes, that one uh, yes. from the. Yeah, uh, I think that's pretty good because if you if you see multiples of them, then mm -hmm. you get to uh, your milling because of your dark city every turn. Yes, so you can just every single turn pop, pop, pop. Or um, because you're not really playing a whole lot of anything for energy, you just hard cast it for three, and then each turn goes into check. You can pop energy. Yeah, because yep. it is once per turn. Yep. You're right. Yep, absolutely. Although I think I think that's the way to do it. If he lets him get to eight energy, he just insta loses, but. Um, I don't think the matchup is unwinnable now, especially after side deck. No. Um, it's going to be very rough, though. 
um, especially with that Android 21. Yeah. Um, You're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just saw what it did. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, the key is um, when, when I play Hot Shock, I do play two of the Shenrons that will pick a two or less back from the graveyard onto the field so you can constantly cycle that in. Mm. I think I think the matchup is maybe uh, like right now after side deck if you side deck it, the de just the Dendes it's probably mm -hmm. like a 65-35 a in mm -hmm. the favor of uh, Trayvon but if you side in the Mass Saiyans it's probably closer to a 50-50 to be honest because yeah, at this point yeah, those Mass Saiyans are probably the best card in this matchup but they're mm -hmm. probably the most underutilized ones as well. Yeah. People often forget about that card. Uh, a lot of people do, just because it the Dende is just better, because I do remember the ruling where it... There was something where it checks, but it, if it's on the field, if you don't charge, or some weird permeation of that, um, it was just like the Dende, it does it every time. Uh, well, the thing is, like, the play to do is basically you play the Mass Saiyan, mm -hmm. new Kamana, and if you already have a Dende on board, you can pay two to new Kamana even if you have yeah. less, uh, more, more energy than your opponent. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. So, so you can kill him two energy mm -hmm. and just basically end his whole. Because if that happens, then the game's pretty much won, I think. Correct. Because you could just somehow do that if you keep on bringing out Dendes because yep. it's already. And then if they yeah. have to, if you have to, if you force them to charge to eight naturally, they're gonna lose. Mm -hmm. But I'm assuming Trayvon knows this, and he's probably got. Some some sort of side deck tech to go up against that. Probably, uh, if anything, Crisis Crusher. Probably Crisis Crusher. That would Crusher. be the one. Even though Crisis Crusher wouldn't be, no, uh, he would definitely not mean that. I don't think he'd have that in his sideboard. I think Crisis, Crisis Crusher has completely fallen out of the meta. Yeah, I, I would say for the most part. Um, Draw two, discard one. Really, the only thing that uh, Trayvon would want to probably side in is Black Mass Saiyan, where if the, you know, activates the Ghost Warrior effect to bring him out, discard two cards every time. Yeah. Like, if he just manages to stall until his Demigra turn, he has nothing to stop Demigra, mm -hmm. and then Demigra just rips off the cards, all the cards he doesn't want to deal with from his hand. Exactly. Forward. So it's definitely the play. Um, he just has to be very weary of the, of, the ob of the objection, man, of the charging. Hopefully he did side in Dende's, and we are going to see more than just big sides. Big sadness. sadness. Toki Toki, here it is. He's looking for it. Gonna search it. Oh, the blocker. Oh, okay. All right. Hmm. Yeah, you can get that blocker, so it's a free draw. He's got the uh, splintered mass saying in his hand there, where mm -hmm. if you warp two, you warp one of theirs. That's very good tech for this. Yep. Um, Dragon Balls. I feel like he could probably skis the game off, and if he's gonna do it, he's, it's gonna be this one. Yeah, exactly. If, if it's something well, that I mean, it's, sorry, it's gotta be this one. It's gotta be. Other, the, yeah, otherwise, otherwise it's, it's out. Yeah. But yeah. going first is what I meant. Like going first is such a huge mm -hmm. advantage. Well, it looks like Ben played Ghost Warrior, so oh. Sensu beans are gonna cost him if he wants to do anything. Yep. Um, and we saw, we see that he does have the A drop in his hand. Yeah, but he hasn't ramped yet. So well, still turn two, still turn two. Oh, we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably sitting on a Vegeta right now. Yeah, because if he actually, so if he would have ramped on this turn, if he would have paid one for an objection, um, Ben could have played a mass. If he had played, it, if Ben had played a Dende on turn one, mm -hmm. and then um, Trayvon like objection on this turn, he could have used. Uh, he could have overwhelmed for the the mass saying killed yep. an energy, then Dende killed an energy and put him back to one energy, which it would have been like probably Best case scenario. probably game. Yeah. And these long uh, control esque type matchups, it's always about the first like five turns, mm -hmm. and if you can tell who's gonna win after oh, yeah. that, it doesn't come to like the look of the draw and like combos, comboing and sacking and stuff like that, um, like aggro decks do sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what are we doing here? So he's just reading the card right now. Yeah. So I mean, uh, yeah. The alternative for Draymond is to maybe go like the hand control route, side in all those special beam cannons, side in the three drop Gohan Piccolo, mm -hmm. and just try to keep swinging and uh, destroy his board basically, or okay. destroy his hand. Sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. Looks like he played the cooler. Oh, is he, is he playing the negate Goku, the two drop negate Goku that bounced something back to your hand? I did see that. Yes. Okay. Um. Hmm. So. Very interesting. Well, I wonder what he wants to bounce back. I didn't see any two drops there. That he would target. Oh, he's got the Tau. Oh, so that means he can't make him discard. Yep. Wow, okay. That's pretty huge. That's a good strategy. That is pretty huge. Yeah, I didn't see anything to drop that he would actually want to bring back, Man. which is weird. Piccolo might just say, like, I'm good. I'm just going to charge. 
charge pass. Yeah. yeah he's probably he might just say I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna charge. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play anything. But mm -hmm. if you let Hatchak get eight turns. Oh, there's the objection. Oh yeah, yeah. he's going for it. Well, looking at his hand, there's the negate. I I'm just confused on what he's actually bringing back. Why wouldn't he attack the blocker in rest mode with the piccolo? I think it was a misplay. Hmm. Or no, did he already attack this? No, he didn't attack. He didn't attack anything this time. He just played objection. Just played objection and passed. Well, it's uh. Well, he's sitting on. Yeah, he just chose not to attack the blocker, which could come back to haunt him hmm. pretty hard. Yeah. A lot of people forget when they're on the board because you just have, with Hotchak, I feel, a pretty big board present that. Oh, yeah, for sure. He spam uh, it out. Yeah. Honestly, I would, which I didn't, I should have cited in Kami for the mirror match. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything is under four, yep. except for, like, their boss monsters. Exactly. But even at that, you can deal with those guys fairly easily. Correct. I mean, you are giving them more fodder for bringing out more Ghost Warriors, but it's still, you wipe their board presence. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's the Dende. There's the Dende. Did you the Crow? Oh, wow. So he, he was ready for it. Yep. Try again, sir. Do you have another one? Nope. Oh, maybe. Well, he's still got a Warp a card. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so much. Yeah. It's it's sad. It's like watching someone struggle trying to, trying to, <laughs> trying to break free. Yeah. Mill two pass. Yep. At a good old mill two pass. Yeah. <laughs> what is this, Janemba? Why is he? Is, look at his towel. His towel is like under the to the the dark city. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, I yeah. mean, he's probably doing it like to kind of like figure out like, hey, just in case if he does try to like discard me, I have this and then I have this, because hmm. he's not going to swing with that. Oh, of course not. No. Is it ten k? I believe it's 10k. Yeah, it is. But it does have barrier, so... Yeah, it can get can dive. Yeah. That card is, like, it is just so good against every matchup. I think it should be in everybody's side deck. Like, the... Uh, it's it's crazy against red because Topo. Topo. Yep. It's crazy in this matchup because hand destruction, mm -hmm. Piccolo. It's crazy against Hatchiak because Hatchiak has cards... Uh, Hatchiak has cards to make you discard, right? Uh no, it no? doesn't. Okay. It does not, honestly. Because I was thinking I'm like Demigra, but I'm like, no, Demigra isn't discard. He just Demi just, just rips. He just <laughs> takes them and says I'm comboing with these. Yeah. So no, it's actually it's 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 probably the just bad against like black um the black matchup, black card matchup. Uh I did I did have a um a mirror match with Hot Jack and let me tell you that was pretty much a slog from the get go. <laughs> but I was able my game one I did beat the round. Um turn five I had Demigra and I was at four life. So I swung Looked at his hand. He had the uh, Roshi super combo. Yeah. Combo the Roshi super combo. I was able to draw. I'm like, yeah. this is nice. <laughs> yeah. Must be nice to top five, take four cards from your opponent, then, then draw four cards off the super combo. <laughs> oh, exactly. Um, but no, Hatchak doesn't have anything that really discards. It's more destruction based. Yeah. yeah. In the mirror match, it's like whoever gets the Migra first. Pretty and much. Wins. Or Fu Shroud and Mystery, Dark Banisher Fu, pretty much everything that like locks you down. Mm. But and Fu, Fu Shroud and Mystery, he went up in price a lot in the past few months, or like in the past month rather. Mm -hmm. It's insane. He's he's spiked in price a lot because people are realizing, oh, this card is the best card in counterplay format because the counterplays don't work. Exactly. Or negates or anything. Or anything. Well, well it, mostly it's like interaction on that summon, right? There's no extra card that hits except for. Um, uh, not cold bloodlust, frost deadly poison. Correct. Except for frost deadly poison, that's mm -hmm. the only out to banish your foo. Yep. And unless you're playing like, it's very it's very rare that your opponent will have three mana up for it. Um, and get, unless they're planning for it, but you can mm -hmm. actually force them quite easily to to tap by like swinging if you if you just set up properly, build a board, set up, swing with it, pressure them to have even just if you get them to, to just have two open energy. You just win because you play the Fu and you hit them for 30k, and then on their next turn, they don't do anything again because the Fu's ability lingers. Yes. Um, it looks like Ben played Shenron. He's got three super combos in hand. Yeah, that's that's a good <laughs> hand. I'm look, we're looking, that's I mean, that's a, an expensive hand right that there, is sir. Expensive that is a very hand. expensive hand. He's got the Piccolo, the Ultra Instinct, and the Secret Rare. His hand's valued about uh, around four hundred dollars. Oh yeah, you know <laughs> that, that could pay a good chunk yeah. of anybody's debt off right now. G give a give a give or take. Oh, looks like he's awakening. Yep, he gets to untap. He gets to also charge after he awakens. I love the draw three. It's mm. so neat. It is so neat. 
Yeah, and the reason you were mentioning earlier that the Kefla is probably the worst is she does not untap a thing. She draws four? She draws four, untaps nothing. Terrible. I think they assumed since she's like a blue leader, she'd have, she'd good, have, mana un- she'd have yeah. good mana control, but mm-hmm. untapping is important. Yeah. What can I say? Yeah, it's a little bit important there. If it's gone to the, the game's gone to a point where free energy is a lot better than, fr- than uh, free draw. Mm-hmm. Um, remember like when set three first came out, everyone was like, oh, Pan, she untaps energy? She sucks. Oh, my God. Everyone yes. was like, she sucks. These, these leaders suck. They untap energy. And now it's like, your leader draws? <laughs> Please. Uh, gross. <laughs> Get it away from me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he's got a board now. He built up the Ultra Instinct. I'm surprised he he dropped the Ultra Instinct now. Mm. What did the... It looks like he bounced back the Shenron. Yeah. So... Which is... That's kind of questionable. I mean, it turned off his turn because he didn't get to untap two, so that's fair. But at the same time, you kind of want to save it for, like, the Demigro. Mm Mm-hmm. So... Because if you you manage to Ultra Instinct the Demigro, it's... Mm -hmm. Pretty insane. That is probably the roughest thing you could do. Because then he, he can't play the next turn. He doesn't have the overwhelm. Mm-hmm. Well, one strategy a lot of Hatchack players are using are using the um, ISR uh, Black uh, Super Saiyan Goku, where it evolves over mm-hmm. the negate. Then you just like, okay, recycle, whatever. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah, put four back. That's like the main. I think every uh, almost everybody almost everybody plays that. That's like the r- really, really good tech. Mm-hmm. I think I we saw someone get gamed by that last, uh, last game because it has double strike on top of everything. It does. Yep. And he he's going in. I, I feel like he's probably arriving. Yep, he's bringing the secret. Oh, yep, he's bringing the secret rare out. I think he might have gone a little bit, a little bit hard here. So what what does that have? It just has single strike. That has single strike, but the Super Saiyan Four Vegeta, when that hits the field, <laughs> for one damage. Oh, he didn't. I know he tried to untap, but Ghost Warrior's effect was still in play. So. Just want a ramp? Why did he super combo three times? Digging for something, but maybe. But you have the secret in your hand. Why don't you mm-hmm. just play the secret? He ha- no. he's got the energy for it, I believe. You think maybe he was afraid of overcommitting, tapping out, and dying because of it? That's probably what it is. Quite possibly, because now his leader has nothing under it. So I think he's also at three life. He's at three life, so I think he's just terrified of the Demiurge. He might mm-hmm. not have any gate in hand. Which is why he's a little bit stressed out. But I think the secret rare was still to play that turn. Yeah, I would I would strongly agree with that. Because it costs five, right? And he has like seven energy. Oh, right? here's the foo. Yeah. Big foo. You have the bloodluster. Chomp. Oh, he's ultra instinct. No, the ultra instinct won't work. The ultra instinct won't work. The ultra. Oh. No, it does not work. It can, you can counter it, but. Oh, wait. Doesn't his effect. Go where he cannot be negated. Maybe does Ultra Instinct Goku say he can't be negated? Oh, he. I don't think the Ultra Instinct says that. Do you know the full name? I, I thought it did. Um, Ultra Instinct Goku, the Unstoppable, I believe. Well, it's in the name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This skill could not be negated in any area by your opponent's skills. Yeah, he could actually he could have played it. Hmm. Well, chose not to. So I yeah, guess. that's rough. Read the card. Yeah. So be play Fu, counter. Can't. I guess the move. Although Fu's ability still lingers. Yeah. But that's also a thirty k double strike off board. It is. So. So, yep, he's comboing the Paragus right now. I think my man Ben takes this, man. Oh, you're on the edge of your seat here. I am, because I'm interested in the response to what Trevant is tr- going to do. Because he, it, it should have been the Goku negate. It should have gone off regardless. So now everything in his hand, nothing will happen next turn. I think the Goku can be negated. But for some reason, he chose not to play it. Because it's written there on the card. It's very mm-hmm. easy to read. I don't think it was a mistake. I think... Wait, it's on board. Oh, that's no, no, no. That was the one that yeah, he played prior. But yeah, the... So, uh, and it looks like he's going to go all in right now. So, 35 to the 25, 35, 40. 
Uh, so Goku goes off if you play in window five, in window one, but not in window two. Nagay just stops the activation. Uh, okay. All right. Well, overwhelm. Overwhelm with the window one and window two always confused me. Like it's not. It's it it's a summon activ- condition. It doesn't negate it. it stops activations. Uh, there's a difference. There, there's a difference, I guess. Who's mm-hmm. negate? Okay, so yeah, it's fair. Our floor judge, big shout out to Casey. He's big, okay. b- big brain lad. All right. So now there's a lot of pressure put on there. It was. His hands been diminished. What is Ben's drop right now? His deck is he practically did, he nothing. He did overrealm. He did overrealm, but it looks like he's got pretty big graveyard right now. Deck, though, not so much. Here's the dimension. He can't. Why is that? Hit. Oh, is it still? Oh, he passed and just said go ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can't dimension magic on your own turn. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that turn was so quick. <laughs> yeah. So he swung with lead, negated the attack. That's so crazy. Why would they write that this is... Uh, uh, well, we'll see. I guess that's a... There's the demigrat. That's why he's the judge we're not. Yeah. Oh, there's demigrat. Uh, that's game. That's game. If he has a negate, it's still game. I believe he had a couple negates in hand, but he's still going to rip out cards. There's a negate. Well, luckily, it was a battle card negate, and you can only rip out one card. The Android 8. The Android 21. Mm-hmm. Good drop. Yeah, so, yeah, we did. So ben, Ben, everyone was, everyone was saying, oh, there's no chance, there's no chance, but well, our if man, he Ben, <laughs> pulled it out. If uh, Mr. Williams here... Top decks and Android 21. That will be game for Ben then. At least it'll. Uh, oh, they just scooped. They scooped okay. It up. No, there All we right. go. We're getting game three here, boys, game which is three. perfect because we have 28 minutes left of the round. All right. I'm excited. This is awesome. Yeah, actually, a lot of people were kind of like worried, like, oh, all the hot jack games are going to be so much of a slog. It's going to be take forever. Yeah. And I think I think against blue blue green, it's not. Uh, mm-hmm. He has to play a lot different uh, yeah. than against red decks. He doesn't get the luxury of just sitting by and not doing anything because if he does, then mm-hmm. he gets punished for it hard by that eight drop. Exactly. But yeah, it's good. I'm glad that we're uh, we're getting some good action. Mm-hmm. I definitely want to get a piccolo player on stream. Oh yeah. Uh, here there was a, a mad. There was the option to put like a baby and a Janemba matchup on. Um, I was considering it, but I I really felt like the people watching wanted to see the piccolo in action. So mm-hmm. uh, we decided to do that despite him playing a Hatchak, and it turns out that um, this matchup is very very interesting to watch. So it's yeah. a win win. Exactly. Um, I feel like Janemba is just not as powerful as it used to be. I feel like when the cooler comes out, it's going to be the new mill deck. Um. Well, you know, the thing is, like, it's good, but it insta loses to like a few matchups, and mm-hmm. I think a lot of the Janemba players that are playing today dodge the right matchups. That, that oh that yeah. Are top. There's one at top tables. I think he just dodges really? the right matchups because they lose quite hard to the new surge stuff, man. The surge decks can pop, like minus maybe the, because the uh, what's it called the Broly leader is fine with just going like pure aggro. If yeah. if he's not afraid of dying, he'll just mm-hmm. like. Like play fifty cards on board and swing oh yeah. at you for double strike and stuff, mm-hmm. and then the surge coup, the one that, that plays the, the red yellow one. Yeah, he just yep. doesn't use his ability. He lets no. you mill for him. Yeah, do. And then and then it's like, okay, thank you. I'm at five energy. Here's my kill card. You can't do anything. You have no, no interactions except Champa. Oh, you have Champa. Cool. Pass. My turn. Okay. Nice. Play another one. You're dead now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And he can leave Geneva at six health. It doesn't matter because uh, he can rip out all the negates from his hand. Hit him for three. Uh, unawaken, go f- for the the swing again. He can't awaken, so he can't use his leader negate. It's just game. Mm-hmm. So Geneva's in a rough spot right now, I think. Yeah. But the only, I think the best variant's probably like tricolor red, Geneva, because Topo is the best. Topo card. is the best card. Yep. Topo is the best card in the game in, the f- in this format. Do you feel like down the road they're gonna limit or even uh, ban like Topo? Probably not, because there's so many answers to him. Nowadays, yes. There's so many answers to him. He's a two drop when he comes out. So all the all the What's called counterplay cards. All the counterplay cards yeah. that are like three or less, like mm-hmm. the, uh, the desperate bla- measure, yeah. bla- uh, the super bla- kamehameha. Super if you're like that, super kamehameha, kamehameha wave was huge in the first game that we that we streamed uh, mm-hmm. today. It was very very big. Yeah. All right. Well, it's t- to the wire here. To the wire. Although Treon going first is kind of a big deal. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's in either of their hands. I think I see Dende in Ben's hand. I could be wrong. I think Den- he just needs to play the Dende on turn one and not do it, not play anything else so that Trayvon cannot kill it with a... Vegeta the, the Cruel. Vegeta Cruel. Yeah. That's the play. Oh, I see the Seeker Rare and I see a Dende. So, 
So Ben just needs to get up to is, five yeah. energy and pay one pass, man. That's the move. Mm -hmm. And there's a super combo. Gets a negate out of it, though. And Plays the blocker. I don't know. It's board presence. He's got the four-star ball in his hand, so he doesn't need to look for it. Yeah. I just think you play the Dende because now he won't objection and mm -hmm. he's not going to be due to the cruel. And as long as that Dende just sits there, he's going to be very hesitant to objection. So mm -hmm. that's how you buy your time. Just the threat of the Dende is more powerful than the Dende, than the Dende himself. That's Correct. Great. Yep. So he's going to sit on two energy right now. So now he can't play the Dende because he's going to get destroyed if he does. Exactly. And he's going to lose a card from his hand on top of it. Which he will probably... Here it is. Here's the Dende. Oh, nope, Kidku. Plays the Kidku. I think he's trying okay. to bait out the... Uh, the Vegeta. The Vegeta. He's playing the long game, which is fine. Like, he doesn't have to technically play the Dende until he objections. Yeah. But it might. Like, if he, if he objections next turn, he can't play the Dende because it's going to get. He's going to have enough energy still to kill it exactly. with the uh, Vegeta Cruel. Mm -hmm. So. I well. think right now it's leaning a little bit more towards Trayvon just because the energy swing is on his direction this time. Correct. Because of going first. So he can very much so just. Char or uh, use the objection, charge an extra energy, and get away scot free. Because I saw that he does have the Vegeta the Cruel in hand. Mm -hmm. And at, at this point, he might have several. Mm. That's fair. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like the Gohan counterplay card is very underutilized nowadays. <coughs> Which Gohan? Uh, it's the well future Gohan, where when you counterplay, you bounce something three or less back to their hand. It's and then probably it's, it's definitely the the second weakest the the it's probably the weakest one out of them all because mm -hmm. it's blue, and blue is very weak in this in in the in this past format. few formats. Yes, it's been weak in a little bit. Like the only deck that represents blue is Janemba. Yeah, and even at that, it's not even tier one. No. So blue, but to be fair, for the past like seven sets or six sets, blue was reigning terror oh, on yes. the format. Blue is exactly was, like ever since like up up until Harutagarn. Since set one, Vegeta, uh -huh. uh, Soul Striker. Set two. Harutagarn all the way through, or set two, sorry, um, still Soul Striker, mm -hmm. Vegeta, and then Harutagarn like took took the the reins for a while. Yeah. Uh, and then I don't even we don't talk about SS3 format. No, well he SS3 format we don't talk about SS3. Oh, that was a rough time for everybody. <laughs> dark time for everybody. And they're bringing them back yeah. in some shape. Balance, I'm Ben, please. Mm -hmm. I want to play Mono Blue SS3 again. I missed that deck. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I will say I am very interested in new leader redesigns, like for the Beerus and for the Hit right He's now the from the cruel. One. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep. I I want to play Beerus. I'm excited. Just being able to draw a card on the other way inside is going to be huge. It is. Yeah. Well, there's the Vegeta. Unfortunate for uh for Ben there. For so Ben, but we called it. We saw it coming, and I think he even knew. Well, so as of right now, he hasn't objectioned at all. So I think he's going to feel free to now, though. I think he's going to be okay with just shotgunning it now if he has it. I don't think he even has it. I can't see his hand, but I it doesn't look like he has it. No, he's got plenty of counters, but... It's very possible he just has pass turn, or he plays the Piccolo. If he mm -hmm. plays the Piccolo, it's going to start being very... It's going to start getting a lot of value. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's played the Piccolo the entire match. No, he hasn't. No. He hasn't because it hasn't been worth it for him. No. Although, it's pretty good card to keep control of the opponent's board and get rid of those blockers constantly. Mm -hmm. And you get to draw a card, which is kind of good. Only, As no, only kind of good. <laughs> only, yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, I feel like the Piccolo should have been a little bit more balanced where you have to discard one to activate the effect, but then you draw one. That, I think, would have been a little bit more fair, but yeah. what we have right now is pretty good. It's not the worst, just because it takes, like, four energy is a lot. And if you're not playing the three drop that cheats him out, mm -hmm. like, four energy is a lot. It's it's a, yes. And for something that can get Denial of Hope. Exactly. Four energy is a lot. <laughs> it is. But, yeah. He's going to swing. Draw this card. Draw card. And I, I kept saying it in the first match, the first time when we saw Peter play this. Uh, mm -hmm. 20,000. The fact that he gains 5k every attack, every turn that you let that go off is just one turn you're getting put further and further behind because mm -hmm. that plus 5k starts to add up so fast. Okay. Yeah, here's the negate. So it's a 2 cost in hand, but on the field it is a 3 cost. It is, and he is going to get it, or... Yes, it is, because that effect yeah, absolutely. brings it back. So that is a actually a really nice strategy there. For the longest time, I thought it was a 2 cost, but no, no it is a 3 cost. It's 3 cost, yeah. Yeah, it's 3 cost. But yeah, that... Uh, that's what I do in my beer deck. I play my Android 16s, then I mm -hmm. use those negates to just get those Android 16s back, and then spam... Don't steal my tech, anybody, all right? If you're watching, <laughs> you 365 people. <laughs> Don't steal any of my techs, please. Yeah. 
So Trayvon's at five life now. Mm -hmm. Ben is just cruising at eight still. Yeah. Trayvon's this not putting any pressure on. This is how a lot of hot jack decks kind of go. They don't really even take any damage at all until... They don't need to, yeah. No. Although I feel like Ben should be attacking. Or sorry, I feel like Trayvon should be attacking to try to bring him down. There's no reason not to just hurt him before you go G to him. Mm-hmm. Because that's probably the end play. Like I would, I would, I would have been attacking this entire time with all my pieces, mm -hmm. just so I could, uh, just so I can get him to like around six, five, six life. Mm -hmm. He's gonna take that damage anyways, and if he doesn't, then he loses cards from his hand, which is good. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think his main goal is Gogeta right now, just because his drop is nowhere near seven. I think he's trying to get to the Android Twenty One again, because that was just devastating for yeah. Ben. Although he did play the objection. Mm -hmm. But we both know that Ben knows that he's got a Vegeta the Cruel in hand. Yeah, uh, chat's saying it's a very speedy match for Hatch. You're, you guys are right. It's uh, Chris and Byron in game three with 20 minutes left. Mm -hmm. It means each game only took like about 20 minutes to play. Yeah. And this one's already near its end as well. Like they're at five energy. You have the Demigra or not, man? What's the move? He's going to swing, and if he doesn't negate, he's going to drop a lot of cards here. He does have, I believe he had it from uh, basically turn one, he yeah. had the Demigra. So he's going to... Pay one for Dende. Into the Vegeta the Cruel. Oh, I do see another Dende in his hand, though. Mm. So he's he baited that out. Yeah, there's no rush for him to go all in with a uh, Demigra right now. Mm -hmm. Because I think he's... I think Trayvon's at seven energy, actually. Because he started... Yes, he started and he uh, objectioned once. Yes. So he's at seven energy right now, so... Uh, ben is Dende. Oh, he played another, another one. one. Oh, my God. Yep. What a disaster. That's rough. So I don't know. I think he's just dead if he has the injured. So maybe the Amigura was the correct play, but I think I think uh, I, th I think Ben didn't think that he would have two Vegeta the Cruel. He knew he had one because he added it back to hand. Yeah. And I guess it was kind of safe to assume that he would have another one, but okay. Oh, now he's pushing for damage. He feels like he should he has to go for oh, and he does actually have to go for game. Otherwise, he's dead. So I mean, he can't. Um, he doesn't have any anything higher than the. Oh, yeah, he's just clearing board. Never mind. Yeah, exactly. He could have attacked with the Turles and maybe he can't play Chompas. Yeah, this is just rough. Yeah. The 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 you live and die by the double edged sword. That is, you can only attack with one battle card. Mhm. Mm and now I think this is all she wrote for us here. He's gonna just put that down and insta tap eight. Why wouldn't you? I don't think he has it in hand. I didn't see it. I thought I saw it. I know he had the uh, the five cost, which he put his energy right away. Yeah. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He's going to dig for it right now. Yep. So smart move, negate. Use up all your resources before they get blown up. Yep. So right. add it back. I Ben probably has another negate in hand. He can either pay the energy or even just sparking it. Granted oh, he passed. Are. Really? Oh, okay. no. So. All right. Ben might get this off of uh, off some luck. He's got the Ultra Instinct in hand, though, so the Demir is going to get bounced right back. Which, the even so, he can just... Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. I think it might be a little bit too late, but wow, he's not going to get any Dende. No, you do not get your Dende, sir. You think you're going to play Dende in this matchup? Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, what? no, he bounced something else, I believe. Or... Hmm. What just happened? The Dende, I don't know. It does hit the field, so... So he drew his card. He gets his draw, and then it dies. Player. Okay. So cool. he tapped another. Looks like Ben's asking a question on. He gets to blow up a mana. All right, oh, energy. he does. Yeah, he tapped two. Gotcha. So I got over it. Which I think tapping the, or getting rid of the mono color was a smart idea because the leader could just bring it back. Uh-huh. So swing, getting rid of the Vegeta the Cruel. Yeah, obviously a seasoned player Ben is. Mm -hmm. Seems to know what he's doing. He does. <laughs> it's funny, he didn't when we played at Nats. <laughs> uh, I beat him within twelve minutes. Jeez Louise, man. Yeah. No need to no need to flex on us like that. We get <laughs> it. <laughs> no, it's just something that uh I joked around, it's like, Yeah, we're gonna play each other like the whole time at Nats and then when the round finally came, he just looks at me and he just goes Darn you. <laughs> I'm sure those weren't his exact words. No, more ex explicit, but. He passed. All right. Do you have your Demigra, sir? 
I thought I saw it turn one. So. I mean, Trayvon's just waiting right now to die to the foo, to be honest. Yeah. That seems to be the mood. Like, I don't know if I keep charging if I'm Ben, just because it's only a matter of time until he top decks it. Well, one crazy thing that I did, I charged up to eight, and then I hard casted Foo the Dark Banisher. So You can do that. You can, and then it still goes off on their turn, and he, the guy just looked at me. It's like, I yes, I am that crazy to do this. Well, that's just really good. Yeah. You can't do anything unless you warp a card from your hand. It's just mm -hmm. That's just very good things. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like he's never seen it before. <laughs> so it looks like you've got a Shenron in hand. If I was Ben, I would attempt to play the Shenron to bring out the Dende to pop another mana. But then you would leave yourself with... At this point, it's too far gone because he's already at 8. So next turn, regardless, he's going to get back to 8 when he charges. So the, mm -hmm. the, the Dende is too far gone now. Yeah. Um, it's just rough. All right. He's playing something. Paying 4 for the Shenron, most likely. Nope. Oh, there it the is. Demigrat and back to hand. the hand. And that's the mistake that I think might cost Ben the game. Um, it, was gonna, it was probably a top deck war of who could get the... Uh, their big card. Who could get out. the big card, but the right big card. Ben chose the wrong big card to bring out. He should have brought out the Foo. Instead, he chose to bring out the Demigra. I got Ultra Instinct back to hand, and mm -hmm. I, I feel like that might be all she wrote. Hopefully not, but. Hopefully not, but uh, Trevant just pulled Foo, the Dark Banisher, out, so that hits pretty hard against Hotshock. Mm hmm. So he negated, sparking-wise, so he can just awaken right now and just Good. pluck cards up right out of Ben's hand, which I feel may be the smart play, but, oh, if I was Ben, I would have put stuff in my yard with the Goku ability. Okay, draws for turn, energy. Taken, he played like three Foos this game, or four Foos, or four, sorry, four Dendes this game. <laughs> seen them all, man. Tri oh, there there she is. it is. All right, initiate scoop phase. Well, I mean, you're at eight life. Yeah. And everything is getting shuffled back, so as long as the Foo is still in deck or in his life, there's hope. There it is, but he has to get up the four energy now to play it. Or the Dende, are you talking about? No, the actually, the no, the big Foo. The six drop, the six drop Foo. The ten six drop. Oh. That's the one he won in the last game. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no way he's getting back to six energy. No. Oh, uh, what a disaster. Yeah. And this is what I mean when I say going first is everything. I probably don't mull that food back if I see it's the only one cunt you have. Mm -hmm. The only one cunt you have is like to struggle with the Dende and try to kill his stuff. And then when you do that, you just have to get him on turn six with that foo and win. Literally yeah. the only way to do this. Because mm -hmm. now he's just going to get hit for about three de or defense. Probably going to get put down to like three. But the upside is that he'll get some cards to his hand. <laughs> it, it, that, you know, that's not a bad thing, but when you have no energy and you can't play anything, that's the roughest. So he's swinging. Hopefully, Ben, in this interaction of him taking life, he'll get a slug to his hand so he can at least take care of the threat that is the... Android. Android, exactly. That would be his only hope to s at least survive because now... Yeah. Trevant well, is he has the Banisher Foo in hand at one yeah. energy. I don't think you can defend that. You can't fend that off. Despite yeah. having a million cards in hand, it, there's no amount of cards in hand that will help you there. He's swinging for 25 every turn, and it's just going to add up so so mm -hmm. fast. Because he can hard tap the Banisher Foo. Yep. He's at 8 energy, man. Mm -hmm. He's going to soon to be 9. Now he's ping. Oh my god, he just put charge past. Charge attack past. That's the move. Any uh, any green blue player loves that feeling they get, and he can't go down to one either because that Andrew will come out and kill him. Mm -hmm. So going to one is the same as dying. So he doesn't have to deal five damage; he just has to deal four damage. Exactly. And he has that triple strike on board. I think I think I would just overwhelm Fu and shake his hand. <laughs> uh. Yeah, because well. he's getting six attacks, six twenty-five mm -hmm. k attacks just from the Fu and the uh, Android, and then he has his twenty k attack, his fifteen attack, his leader attack, and yes. and the surge that he hasn't used yet to make his opponent discard too. Oh, that is, yes. So, yep, he's doing it right. If you wanted to, you could play another Android uh, 21. Nuke the board again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would even be worth it. Be really disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Up there's the... Yep. There goes the Dragon Ball.
Now, the one thing I debated on actually playing was like a one cost or even a no cost double striker. There's the Gogeta. Oh my god, are you kidding uh, me? He fusioned for it too. He doesn't have 10, I don't think. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I don't, don't, don't they have to be the same power? Yeah, why? Because if Vegeta the Cruel's 15 and Goku's 20. Yeah. Yep. They have to be the same power, so. What a disaster. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the negate right. Goku. Okay. Better be safe than sorry. Yeah. He used the uh, the negate Goku, the two drop negate Goku instead of the ultra instinct. It was hidden, so we couldn't see. But uh, uh, crisis averted, I guess. Better yeah. to be safe than sorry. Although I don't know if it would change much, to be honest. Yeah. Now he's gonna swing for that. Put him to three and just swing for third. Or why isn't he just swing with the Gogeta? Right, he's gonna swing here. Because he already swung with the. Oh, uh, he can't swing with the Gogeta. Yeah, You're correct. right. You're right. Well, he could still foo, Dark Banisher foo. He could, but at this, yep, there it is. <laughs> and either it's going to initiate scoop phase here. Yep, and there you go. That's no. all we wrote, boys. That's all we wrote. Well, that was probably Hatchak's worst, worst matchup. Worst possible matchup. Yeah, yep. Hatchak's always struggle against blue, uh, blue green. Oh, so exactly. So that's it's kind of rough. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that was a very interesting match to watch. I think yeah. uh, the Hatchak player Ben did the best he could. Exactly, um, against the situation. I think, again, if he would have seen the, uh, what's it called? I think if he, um, I'm trying to think here. If he used the, if he had seen the uh, Fu instead of the Demigra, Ben probably would have won this game. Exactly. Um, because he was at three life. Mm -hmm. he, the Fu stops everything. Uh, uh, Trevon didn't really have a Bible in his hand. He more so just had like No, seven, he had enough cards, cards in hand. But, but not anywhere close to as much as uh, Ben did. Exactly. So Ben could have definitely just swung with leader, gone up to 50k, put him down to two, and swung again for game, and it would have just been that's it. That would have been it, yeah. Yeah, but uh, that's that. I think that was our final round. Yeah. Um, for the day. Thank you everybody for tuning yeah. in. Um, we appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for commentating again. Yeah. Uh, we'll be right back in a bit with uh, an interview with our winner Trayvon. Uh, again, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. This we'll was right a blast. Back, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, welcome back. We're here with our winner, Trayvon Williams. Trey, how degenerate do you feel right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was a great game to watch, man. I think uh, you entertained us. One of probably the, one of the most entertaining games today. Um, everyone's saying, oh, Hatchak's supposed to take forever. It took pretty good. It didn't take too, too long there. How did you feel uh, game two, game three, after he sat in the, uh, the Dendes and stuff? Because obviously game one was a wash, considering he didn't have anything to, to fight you off, basically. Um. It, I've been playing against it all day. That was my third Hatchy matchup. Oh wow! So uh, it's pretty lucky. It wasn't something. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't something I was surprised about. Most of the other Hatchies were main boarding the Dende. Really? So, so you're surprised that he wasn't? Kinda. Have you um, ran any? Uh, have you ran into any of the Mass Saiyans, the Force Ejection Mass Saiyan? Um, somebody brought them in against me, but uh, they didn't see them at the time. So oh, okay, that's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, for that, I uh, I just try to make sure I choose the correct counterplays in those situations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's why I was Vegeta the Crueling every den day I possibly could. Yeah, you could. got you them on. <laughs> I think you did like three or four of them. Yeah. Uh, you did like f I think you, he saw three and he brought one back from the gate and you killed that one too. Yeah. So it was, it was very, very well done. I got to say congratulations. I'm happy that uh, you took it and you took it so forcefully as well. It's pretty good. I think you're the only Piccolo left in uh, top eight. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that'll, that'll feel good for you. Anything you want to say before... We wrap things up here. Uh, no, I'm just glad everything worked out. Cool. Well, thank you so much for interviewing. And uh, congratulations again. Thank you. All right, guys, we'll be back in 20 seconds. All righty, guys, that's all she wrote for today. Um, we had a bunch of great matches. Um, we are starting up the live stream tomorrow. We're going to be starting the tournament at 9, and we are going to be going live at 8.50. Um, I'd like to also just take this time to thank everybody who watched, com uh, commented in the, uh, in the thread, subscribed. Um, big shout out to everybody who came out. Uh, huge shout out to Top Cut Events. Um, they ran probably one of the most tight knit um, regionals I've ever seen. Like they're very on top of it. It was very well ran. Um, thanks to everybody who uh, came out to support us. Obviously with the storm and everything like that, it was difficult. We 
uh, we're short staffed and thank you to the people who stepped up to help us remedy that. Um, hopefully we'll get to see you guys tomorrow to see who gets to win this thing. Uh, otherwise, have a great night. Be safe. Thanks for watching.